Hello and welcome to a new video in the Farsi script. In today's lesson we are going to talk about the Fa and the Qaf. For those two letters, uh, we start with a scale of one point. We will start with the head. Now the head consists of two moves. The first move would be to rotate it around, just like this. The second one would be to rotate and go back this way. Now both moves we use full thickness for them. Uh, the third move differ from between the uh, the fa and the qaf. For example, for fa we use a ba, and for a qaf we use a move that is similar to a nun. But we will start with the fa. Now, as we see here, we've added the one point scale. We start with the first move, which is a curve up. Then we do the second move, which is curving down. Now, once you reach here, we finish the uh, first move. By the way, this like it's one point, but there's a slight increment, as you can see. So it's one and just a tip of a point. Beneath the fat, we leave half a point here. So this length of the neck would be a bit long. Now, the the fat looks like as if it's looking up because in some cases we saw like in the Diwani the fat looks down. Uh, the Raqqa same thing. In the Farsi the fat sort of looks up a bit as we can see here. Now from this point, depending on the letter, for example if it was a fat you have two cases. The first case is to give this like five and a half points just like this and it's just like a bat so you would come over here and you would do this bat, the short bat the one we talked about before there's another case where you will extrude it like elongate it to 11 points and that would be the Kshida case so you would start with the uh, first move second move and finally you would add a bar that is basically the long bar now go back to the bat lesson and check the way to write this because you have to start it really shallow uh, then with the time with the more you move to the left you start to have the pen to be vertical this way you will get the nice shape That looks like this. Then here gradually starts to increase in size and finally here it's sort of curvy unlike the other one that we saw here. Uh, the point for the fa, uh, the dot comes up here. Uh, this is basically how you write a singular uh, fa. Now uh, when you connect a fa it's the same thing so uh, you would use the the the, the same moves we, we talked about now and with them you would simply just connect it to whatever so fa you could connect it to a rock then we add a dal And this way we have the word Fard, which means a person. Now the other the other case for the Fa, uh, which is also similar to a Qaf, is the middle shape of it. So this is the Fa. Uh, also a Qaf would work like this. For example, Qard. You just add two dots. Now we will talk about the connected, the middle fa and qaf. Then we will talk about the qaf by itself. The connected fa and qaf, it has three moves. The first one would be with the tip of the pen, going up and down like this. The second one would be two thirds of the pen, which is basically going back, rotating and coming back like this. And this would be two thirds. 
finally the final move would be also with the tip of the pen just like the top move so when we connect these you'll have the tip the two third and the final move now a note here about this connection is that it looks really flat here it looks really shallow meanwhile when you come back you come back sort of vertical this way you get this nice uh, shape of it as we can see here so if you were to write fapat we have a fa then we connect it to a qaf then we connect it to a ta This way we get the uh, middle, uh, the middle qaf or fa. Uh, we can also write ghafar, rain, fa, and ra. Uh, we could also now note the. Uh, angle we talked about here. It's always here. Uh, we could write Yafqid. Uh, so we have a Ya, we use the high end Ya, then we add a Fa, then we add a Qaf, then we add a Dal. So here we have a variety of examples on the middle fa or qaf. Now, if we had a qaf by itself, it would look like this. First, we will start with the head, which is one point. The same moves we use here, which is the rotation. Then the coming back. We add one point below this point, and we extrude the spot, elongate it. Then we add two points below it so that this shape would go all the way down here and then comes back. This way we have a shape that is similar to a noon but it's shorter and the ball sort of balances down here just the same rules. Uh, when you start doing it you would go down with this angle then you would make it vertical then when you come back here, you rotate the pen so that it would be like this. So we have three uh, angles of the pen that we use at, while moving around. Uh, when we connect either fa or qaf at the end, uh, for example, the fa has the kshida move. So, for example, kaf three quarters, and we could use the kshida the elongated one uh, meanwhile for the qaf uh, let's use shak so we're doing the sheen now as we can see here it's thin so we will have to thicken this part we drag it down like we said and we do the the new move. And here we have the word shock. With regards to the dots of the qaf, you can have them either next to each other or on top of each other. Uh, these are the cases for the uh, fa and qaf. So we talked about the fa by itself and the qaf connected and uh, the fa and the qaf connected, they both look the same. We talked about how they look in the middle uh, and how they look at the end. There's also another letter that is similar to them, which is the wow. Use the same moves, but finally you add a ra. And for the wow, the head looks really big, the tail is really small, just like the del. 
also it's the same thing if you were to, to connect it, for example, low. So here we go. Uh, it's a relatively short lesson. Uh, these are the fa, the qaf, and the waw. Uh, you saw several cases of them. Uh, practice them. Find words that contain these letters. Uh, the notes that you need to keep in mind is the uh, height of this when you start writing and the angles of the uh, middle fa or qaf. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, like and subscribe and share these videos if you think they are uh, beneficial. Have a nice day.